up on the quarry. Woohoo! Oh yeah! Drivers coming from everywhere. Now it's a party. Happening in this demo that has been put together by the incredible team uh, back at Playground Games in the UK. Great, and uh, yeah, uh, where are we uh, just are getting our bearings on the map here? Where is this map based off right now that we're going to say we're running around on? So yeah, so the, I guess part of the big news ending uh, some months of speculation online is that the game is set in, um, in Britain, beautiful historic Britain. It's kind of a homecoming for us because uh, yeah, obviously of course. We are, we're based in the UK. Uh, you know, a bunch of our team probably grew up in, in, in the UK. Um, I think as a result, it's probably the most authentic open world we've ever built. You know, there's kind of that, um, there's a bit of familiarity, there's a lot of familiarity. There's also that real desire to do justice to, uh, to Britain uh, and the world that we're, we're creating. Um, so I think it's the most authentic uh, and the most beautiful world we've created to date. Yeah, it's, I have to say, the, the Forza games are always so beautiful, so fun to drive in, and uh, to hear that you guys lovingly rendered some place that you're all very familiar with is, is pretty exciting in itself. Although I did notice in the game we were also destroying all those sweet little cobblestone walls lining the road. Well, I know, and, and you know what, that's kind of one of the, the challenges that, you know, each location throws up because, you know, we, we go there and in the case of Britain, you know, we, we went outside. Um, <laughs> and that's, to, that's a little bit dismissive. You like? know, we, we went, <laughs> we, went um, we went all over the UK. And what was great about this game Ooh. actually is that um, more of our team, in fact, practically all of our team got to go out and do research all over the UK. Usually we send a small team to like Australia you know, right. at the start of the project. Obviously, we had to go in every season to go do research. We were doing research as recently as two weeks ago. Oh, that's um, crazy. I, so, so, yeah, I, it's been great for the team to get out there. Um, and, and like I say, I think it's an incredibly authentic take on, on Britain through the, through the year. Well, and you mentioned the seasons uh, when we're checking out winter right now. This is supposed to be, this completely changes the gameplay. Like four different seasons, four different get maps to play in, essentially. Absolutely, and that's that's why you don't see dynamic seasons in open world games very often. It's really, really hard, <laughs> yeah. it turns out. Um, so you, you're absolutely right. So this is a this is a world the same size as Australia in Forza Horizon 3, um, but rendered four different ways. And you can see here, this is the same location you've been driving around in autumn just a few seconds ago, how completely uh, changed it is in terms of visuals, in terms of audio. You can almost see in the video, I guess, how different it is in terms of handling. Um, and the gameplay changes up with each season as well. So it's a whole lot more work than, than we normally do, um, but I think the effect of the gamer is worth it. How do these seasons change? Do we know when it's gonna happen? Is it just gonna be procedurally from winter? And so here's the really neat thing that um, I, I haven't spoken too much about yet to, today, um, but you've, you've hit on something that's really cool about this game. So it's a shared world game. Everyone is living in the world at the same time. So everything is synchronized. You know, we could be playing you know, wherever we are playing the game, but we're seeing the same things, we're sharing the same experiences, and Seasons is one of those experiences. Um, so Seasons last a week, oh. um, so a week of real time, uh, and then they will they will move forward, you know, spring will become summer, summer will, will become autumn, and it will be that way for all of us. So, you know, when it changes, um, you know, the, the season moves forward, we'll all get to go explore the new season, um, Together, we'll all get to discover the things that, that season has to offer in terms of driving experiences, in terms of gameplay, in terms of content. Um, and one thing that we, you know, we're going to be talking about this week is that no two seasons are the same. Obviously, that kind of goes without saying. But also, no two winters will be the same going forward. Really? No two springs will be the same. You won't um, have a reoccurring like event that happens every winter, like a winter celebration. So, so there will be a bunch of stuff that's constant, but there will okay. also, and I think this is the really important part. There will also be a ton of new stuff um, with each new season as well because what this team is really committed to doing is once we ship the game and once we bring it out this October, um, continuing to support the game, continuing to deliver new content, new gameplay mm -hmm. uh, into it. And the seasons is a really great sort of vehicle for doing that. You know, a, a new winter comes along and we can deliver some new features and new gameplay with well, it. Well, what's really big right now in, in a lot of games, and especially these like consistent games, is that they, they patch, they add new content every week. And by having this, you are promising these players that like, you're gonna have this no matter what. We're gonna like, every week, you're gonna have some kind of like new version or, or something different to play on. That's, that's absolutely it, yeah. Now, what if I have a favorite game mode on one of the seasons and I want to play that every day. Uh, well, so you can you can play the same game modes. You know, we're going to keep a lot of stuff um, really consistent because you know if you want to come back to this game and do your favorite thing, whatever that that thing is, um, we're not going to be taking that away from you. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is add to it um, really uh, constantly. You know, really regularly. Um, and obviously, this you know this 
sort of annual cycle that the, the Four Seasons represents uh, is a great delivery method for that. So how does open world and racing mix? Because that does not seem, I mean, obviously Forza has been like leading this for, for many years now, but how is it when, when there is a event in the game, is it like a giant blimp fight flies over and everyone realizes, oh, we have to go to where the blimp is? So, so I think that's a new feature that you saw in the, in the stage demo, uh, which we're excited to share. Um, it's brand new for Forza Horizon uh, 4. It's part of this shared world thing, right? You're, we're all living in the world together. If we drive near each other, there's a good old chance that we can, you know, we can hook up. What that blimp does, it represents a new mode called Forza Thon Live. Um, which is basically a world event, a world event within the world that we can all drive to. We'll drive to the blimp, um, and then we'll be set collectively a bunch of challenges that we can go do. Uh, we'll be cooperating, it's not competitive. Uh, and if we all do well, we all win the same prizes. Um, and it's kind of a cool, fun, cooperative uh, thing that you can do every hour on the hour. Is there a way that I can make sure that I am on a server with my friends? Is there any kind of like grouping or any kind of like crews? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So we're, we're, there's a bunch of matchmaking criteria that kicks in. Um, and part of that is to, to make sure that we're, we're matching you wherever we can into the servers with, with your friends as well. And how many people can be on a server at once? So we have a server uh, of 72 players. So if you imagine that this entire world is 72 two people in it. Uh, and what we've done is create this really cool tech um, that allows you basically to cycle between these little mini universes. Um, so depending on where you are, who you're near, and the sort of things you're doing, and obviously you chuck in friends lists and favorites and stuff like that as well. Mm -hmm. um, that's who you know, you'll see in your world. So you're seeing much more than the 12 people who are in your sort of little shard. Um, you'll be moving about between these little universes as you move around the world. And will there be proximity chat, or are you guys sticking with the text chat? Um, so we're, we're going big on the text chat, and you know we don't intend people to have full conversations with it. Sure. It's kind of kind of analogous to emotes, I guess. It's a way for you to um, be friendly and communicate um, with people that you meet in the world, your friends that you're playing with, people that you pass in a race, for example. Um, there's a bunch of different uses uh, and a lot of different contexts that you can do that in as well. Uh, I think people are going to have a lot of fun with that feature. And uh, it, the way I have fun in video games may not be necessarily the intended way, so <laughs> what do you have to stop me from griefing everyone who's trying to have a fun little race? Bam, great question. <laughs> One of the first questions that we asked ourselves when we started talking about having a shared world, because that is a common thing. That is a thing what happens. Um, and I, a lot of people don't love it. And I think it could when be you play, you play with the entire community. And that means the other drivers you'll meet in the game will be real people with all the variety, spontaneity, and fun that real people bring. Let's join Bill. He's in the same shared world as Rebecca, driving at speeds made even more thrilling on Xbox One X by the brand new 60 FPS mode. <laughs> Meanwhile, Andy is bouncing around the dunes nearby. As you can see, Horizon 4 is still full of action-packed fun. And now we're going to show you how seasons change everything. In Horizon 4, every season changes the world around you, with each bringing its own unique beauty and unique gameplay. One of the great things about this shared world is that it's easy to interact with the people you meet. Here, Solomon and Rebecca use the new quick chat feature on the D-pad to start a new friendship. It looks like Rebecca has found some like-minded friends. It's great to play solo, but it's better to play with others. Horizon 4 lets you seamlessly enter co-op from within the game world. Seasons, time of day, and weather conditions are dynamic, but they are synchronized for every player, so the entire community will experience them at the same time. Now, as much as we'd all love to sit and watch the sun go down together, let's see how this scene looks in winter. The entire open world changes beyond recognition. In winter, the lake has frozen solid, and previously inaccessible areas can be reached. The trees have entirely lost their leaves, and snow and ice cover the terrain, 
the visuals and the driving experience couldn't be more different. And now a blimp has appeared over the ice to signal the start of a new world event. Sportsathon Live invites the entire community to come together and cooperate to win big rewards. And while they head off to the event, I'd like to show you how the world of Forza Horizon 4 looks in spring. Once again, the world changes completely with the seasons, bringing new driving experiences, new gameplay, and new events across the whole world. Every season, there are new reasons to play Forza Horizon 4, and the huge, creative, fun-loving Horizon community will be there to enjoy them with you. Today, you've seen a completely new take on Horizon. In Forza Horizon 4, you will live in a vast, beautiful world 